Hi. My grandmother died of ALS. Her name was um, Ethel Elaine Wilson, and she died in 2000. And I was 12 when she died, and it was really hard to see her go through all of that. Cause like I was there the most because I was a lot more closer to her. Um, my brother was only one or two then. My sister was like three years younger than me. So it was like they they were younger. They didn't know. But I saw like she stayed in my room and she had a breathing machine because she had a, you know, emphysema with it. But I watched her go to the hospital. I went with her. She like lost her murder skills. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it because there should be something like this out there other than just doing the whole bucket thing, which um, I'm not even gonna go there. But ALS is a disease of the nerve cells in the brain and in the spinal cord that control voluntarily your muscle movements. You know, it's basically like you can't move your arm anymore. You know, it's just, it's just awful, you know. I'll give you the symptoms. The symptoms are difficulty breathing. See, symptoms usually don't develop until they're 50. And she died at 59. So she, yeah, she was in her 50s when it happened. People lose their muscle strength and coordination that eventually gets worse and makes it impossible to do routine tasks, like going up the steps. I mean, I remember one time she fell down the whole like flight of stairs and I had to get my parents and um, her breathing and swallowing muscles are affected. And you know, you have problems obviously eating and um, but ALS don't affect the, like, the senses. Um, they choke easily. They difficult swa difficultly to swallow. Um, muscle cramps. I mean, I can read all of this to you. I can tell all of this to you, but th this ain't bad to you because you can't even imagine the pain that you go through having this, and it's just, you know, it's such, such a rare disease for her at the time. I mean, I have a book downstairs that has all of her medications written down that they tested for her and it's a lot and it still didn't save her so i hope that there's a medicine out there with all the donations that will save somebody's life because it could save her Thank you.